10,000 bonus miles, $20,000 credit limit, free companion fare. This was really compelling. I was really getting incented to do this. But there was one problem. There was one problem with this. It was to my daughter, my seven-year-old daughter. Now, when I started calculating how much Beanie Babies she could buy for $20 million, I got really concerned. And who, who would her companion fare be? Would it be Timmy from her cl- third grade class or Billy from next door? I, I, I wasn't quite sure. There was one big firm, that, that one big bank, that said, you know, we've got all these customers that are inactive that don't do anything with us, that just kind of sit there. We're not sure what, what, what they're all about, but we know that we're, it's costing us money, so we're going to write them checks, and we're going to mail them something and say, goodbye. What do you think happened? Did they cash the checks? Yes, they cashed the checks. Any other comments? Nobody cashed the checks. Why? Because they were dead. (laughs) Dead people are very unprofitable customers. (laughs) Profound study. Bell Labs did a major study. A bunch of PhDs were in a room. Beards, open toe sandals. Um, they had all this data, all this customer value data. And they were trying to figure out what really drives customer value, customer satisfaction. They made a profound discovery that customer value satisfaction is driven by attributes similar to friendship. 